Hi everyone, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a foundation review video for you guys and it's on the Makeup Atelier Waterproof Foundation. So if you want to hear my thoughts, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I want to cover is the actual packaging. So this is what the product looks like here. So it is a, I think it's acrylic bottle and then you can see the fluid on the inside and then it does have a lid and a pump as well. The pump is really, really nice because you can disperse a controlled amount. So if you just want a little bit because maybe you just want to like touch up a certain spot, you can do that. Or if you want a full pump or two, then you can definitely do that as well. So I really, really like that about it. So this foundation actually does have quite a unique texture to it. I always apply it by pumping it to the back of my hand and then patting it into my skin with a brush. And it's definitely by no means a watery, liquidy foundation. It's definitely a lot more of like a cream texture to it. You will see in the demo video that I put over the screen, it is quite a stiff formula and you won't see it really going anywhere like running down your hand or anything like that but the most unique part about it I feel is even though it is such a thick foundation on your hand when it actually goes onto your skin it is so 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 easy to blend out so for me when I'm applying this foundation to my face I kind of say that I'm applying one and a half layers because the first layer that I apply to my face is generally quite light and I'm using quite minimal product and then I will add a second layer that is a bit more intense if I'm wanting that full coverage look. If I don't get the desired effect with how my skin's looking, so say for example I've got a blemish or I want to cover up my dark spots, I will go in with a little bit more of the product and just target the areas where I'm wanting the extra coverage. Today I'm wearing the foundation on my face and you will see the demo video as well. For some reason I woke up this morning and my cheeks have were so red, I don't know why. My cheeks have not been that red in a very, very long time, so it was the perfect day to film this demo video for you guys, but it's still covered up very, very well. And when I'm applying the product, I always dispense it to my hand and apply it to my face using a flat buffing brush. I find that it is so easy to blend out when I do it this way. To be honest, I haven't really done it any other way. I don't use beauty blenders to apply my foundations really ever. So I haven't done that with this one, but when I use a flat top buffing brush, I have no issues. I don't have any streaks. I don't have any patchiness, anything like that. It's all, honestly just such a beautiful foundation to apply. So once I have finished applying my foundation, I move on to my other complexion products. So whether that be any correcting and concealing, or it might be some cream contour that day if I decide to wear it. I will always, after I'm done with complexion, set my face with a loose powder or a pressed powder. I feel like I get pretty much the same results regardless of what powder I use, whether it be translucent, whether it be one with color. It really doesn't matter. I feel like it's quite consistent with the foundation itself. And one thing before I forget, I don't get any oxidization or anything like that with this foundation. I feel like the color that it applies is pretty much the color that you get. Um, I feel like even when it does dry, the color doesn't change pretty much at all. It's honestly, what you see is what you get with it, which I really, really like. So I'm going to look at my phone because I was writing down a few key points that I didn't want to forget. So for price, I actually just looked it up before I sat down to film this video and it's actually 65 Australian dollars on the makeupatelier.com.au website, which is quite a lot more than what I remember paying for it, to be honest with you. Um, I didn't get mine from the Makeup Atelier Australia website. I did get mine from Beautylish, but I don't know, I feel like 65 Australian dollars is quite highly inflated compared to the American price. Um, for, for reference, the American price for it is 32 US dollars. I just want to mention that you do get 30ml of product in the bottle itself, which I feel like is quite a stock standard foundation amount. So I did look up how many shades this foundation has, and when I went on different websites, it was showing me different numbers, and I don't know if that's because that's how many a certain website stocked and that they don't show their out-of-stock ones or what have you, but when I was on the Makeup Atelier Australia website, they did have 16 shades. But when I went on the Makeup Atelier France website, there was 33 shades. 
So just bear in mind, the depending on where you're buying it from, they might have the full shade range or they might have a limited number of the shades in their range. And just for reference, these are probably the two most common shades that I use just depending on my tan. This one is the one that I have on my face right now. It's in the shade FLW3Y Nude. And that's it compared to my face. And then the other shade that I use quite often is FLW4NB and it's in the shade Gilded Beige, which is a bit darker than the one that I have on now. Now, honestly, when I read the description, it, all, it pretty much does every single one of those things that it claims. I, when I first sat down and I was actually planning out this video, I decided to write my pros and cons and then I read the claims and I was like, oh my goodness, it literally, all my pros are what is in the description. I couldn't believe it, but I will read you out my pros that I have. I think that the foundation has great buildable coverage. I would say that how it is on my skin now, once I've kind of done my one and a half layers, is pretty much full coverage, but you can have a medium coverage if you want to. So it is quite versatile in that regard. I like the fact that it has no fragrance. Like it does have a smell, but it doesn't smell like perfume or anything like that. It's got quite a natural, almost clay-like smell. It's really, really unique, but there's definitely no fragrance there. I like that the packaging has a pump. I feel like it is so handy when a when a product has a pump. But not only a pump, but actually a good pump that you can actually control how much you're dispersing. It is so easy to blend on the skin. Like, I have a few videos with me applying it, so I'll list those videos down below where I'm using the foundation. But oh my goodness, it is honestly such a quick, effortless foundation to apply. Another pro is the fact that this foundation wears for such a long time. Like, this is honestly one of my go-to foundations or pretty much has been my go-to foundation for any events that I've had. I I think I got this foundation in 2019, I started using it. And honestly, it has served me so well. Any wedding that I have to go to, any special event that I have, I always wear this foundation. Sometimes I'm getting ready quite early in the day and it honestly lasts well into the night. I will have to powder like occasionally just to kind of like mattify my nose, but pretty much everywhere else I don't need it. And even when my nose is oily, my foundation isn't going anywhere. Like some foundations, if my nose gets oily, it just completely breaks it down, but not this one. So I think that it's such a nice foundation to wear like for multiple hours, many, many hours. And it's so easy to touch up and it looks so effortless. Or I should say it is so effortless to touch up. Just a little bit of powder and you're, you're good to go. I'm just looking into the mirror that I have over here. But one thing that I love about this foundation is just how it looks on the skin. Like it doesn't make my pores look big whatsoever. Like it doesn't emphasize them. My foundation doesn't pull into like my smile lines or anything like that, which honestly, when it happens, I absolutely hate it with other foundations, but this foundation has never happened to me. It also doesn't split um, where my smile lines are, which some foundations have done. So I really, really like it. Don't get me wrong, it definitely looks like you're wearing foundation. And on, and to be completely honest, like I know people like this no foundation look. I have not found a single foundation that doesn't make it look like you're wearing foundation. But yeah, overall, I do quite like how it looks on the skin. It doesn't emphasize like lines or anything like that. So honestly, I have nothing, no faults when it comes to how it looks on the skin. And then lastly, I absolutely love how it looks in photos and on camera. Like I feel like when I'm filming, it's one of my go-tos because I just love how my skin looks. It's so photogenic. I absolutely adore it. But also in real life, it looks great. Like I just absolutely love it. Okay, let's talk about cons. And I don't think that any of these cons are to do with the foundation itself, but just a few things around it. So the first one I know I touched on a little bit before, but it's the price of the foundation. When I saw that it was 65 Australian dollars, honestly, I was a little bit shocked. I couldn't believe it because I think I bought it for about $40. Like I bought it in US dollars and it converted over, but I think it worked out to be about 40 Australian. So the fact that it was about $25 more than what I 
I paid for it, I was like, oh my goodness. So I think as a general tip, if you can try and find a US website that does ship to Australia, then that would definitely be a lot better because it's only 32 US dollars. So even with the conversion factors, it should only be like around the 40 mark still. Um, so when it does come time for me to repurchase, I definitely don't think I will be buying from the Australian website. Sorry. I just love a good deal, okay? Like I'm not going to pay full price for anything that I don't have to. So the next con that I have, unfortunately, is that the shade range is quite large and it was actually quite confusing for me to shop for a shade because there wasn't that many swatches online. So honestly, when it came time to me to actually buy a shade, I just went by chance. I kind of went with the undertone and then just picked one and just hoped for the best, honestly. But I would say that is a definite con. I kind of wish that there was more like swatches available. Maybe even if like the website itself did some swatches, that would be really, really helpful. But I feel like there isn't enough material online to actually be able to determine what your right shade is. Bear in mind, I didn't do like a foundation finder or anything like that. Maybe that might have like completely fixed my problem, but I didn't think of it at the time. And to be honest, I completely forgot that foundation finders were a thing until one of my friends messaged me about it. So anyway, that one was a struggle for me. I just like being able to type in a foundation, type in swatch after it and see all the colors available. And at least when I was shopping for mine, that wasn't there, unfortunately. So the next one that I have for you guys is the fact that it is a bit hard to find and a bit hard to get a hold of. So I feel like there are two factors that play into this. I think because it isn't like a massive like business. So I feel like their supply probably doesn't meet the demand as quickly as what other brands would. And also for the fact that from the reviews that I have read online about this product, it seems like when people have found this product, they have absolutely loved this product. Like I'm talking, I've read reviews, people have been using it for like 10 years, 15 years, stuff like that. And honestly, I can see myself using this foundation for a very, very long time. So I think it's probably two factors as to why it's a bit hard to get a hold of, but regardless, it's definitely worth it once it gets into your hands, I'm sure. And then pretty much the last con for me, which isn't a massive deal breaker for me because I don't mind shopping for my foundations online, but it is the fact that they are not available in store, or at least they're not available in store to my knowledge. I haven't found anywhere that stocks them. And I do go to like some weird, wonderful places to try and like swatch makeup and stuff like that. So I don't know. I haven't been able to find it in store. And at least from what I read online, other people haven't been either, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I just wish that they had more resources online that could help people pick their right shade. But overall, this foundation is great. Like I absolutely love it. It is definitely in my top two foundations, like hands down. It is great. I absolutely love it. I will definitely be using it for years to come. For me personally, I don't use it as my everyday foundation though, purely for the fact that because it's so hard to get a hold of, I don't want to waste it like wearing it to work and stuff like that. I'd rather try and use up foundations that are already in my collection. If I only owned this foundation, I would definitely do it. Like it's not how it looks or anything like that. It's more so the fact of I've got other foundations I need to use up. So I'm trying to use them as well. But when it comes to events, or anything special or where I need my makeup to last, hands down, this is pretty much one of the only foundations that I've reached for. Okay, everyone. So that is the end of my Makeup Atelier waterproof foundation review. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll definitely answer them for you. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps me out so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.